Lately, I've been experiencing some trouble with Selenium. Every time I try to run it, it seems that the only Chrome driver version it remembers, or at least the latest one, is version 114, when in reality, my Chrome version runs on 116. So how can you resolve this issue? Well, I'm going to show you how to do this in both the Python version of Selenium and the R version of Selenium. So we're going to start with the Python version. This solution came straight from Stack Overflow, so thank you to Michael Mintz for providing this solution. So firstly, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the proper version of Selenium installed. We need to make sure that it's version 4.11.2. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, it could be even a greater version. So what we're going to do is we first need to import Selenium. If you don't have Selenium installed, do the pip install Selenium. Next, we want to do Selenium dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore. So if I run both commands, we're going to look on the right side and we can see that the version is 4.11.2. Now, if you don't have this version, you're going to need to update uh, Selenium. And the way to do it is by typing in pip install uh, dash u, oops, dash u selenium. I think actually a lowercase s. And then if we were to run this command, it's going to say that the requirement is already satisfied because I already have the latest version. Um, but that's the command that you'll run to update your Selenium. So now we're going to have to do a couple more imports. We're going to do from Selenium import web driver. Then we're going to do from Selenium import or from Selenium dot web driver dot Chrome dot service. We're going to say import service. And now we're going to set the service variable equals to the service function. And then we're going to create an options variable and set it equals to webdriver dot chrome options. And these are two variables that we'll pass in as parameters. And now we're going to create our driver object. So we're going to type in driver equals to webdriver dot chrome and set the service argument equals to service. And then the options argument equals to options. Oh, and actually I do need to make this into a capital C. And now let's go ahead and run all of this. And as you can see, we have a new window that loaded in. So this works out just fine. Now let's move into the R version. Okay, so the R version is going to require a little bit more work. So first, if we navigate into the main Chrome driver site, we're going to notice that the latest Chrome driver version we get is 114. The reason why I mentioned this is because in the R version of Selenium, it tries to automatically download the latest Chrome drivers available. And this seems to be the latest Chrome driver available from the main site. However, if we look at this text in red, we can see that if you are using Chrome version 115 or newer, please consult the Chrome for testing availability dashboard. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open up a new window for us and it's going to have these versions laid out for us. So since my version here in the top is version 116, I'm going to go ahead and click on the stable version uh, 116. And then I'm going to navigate to the Chrome driver section. And I'm going to look for the URL that represents the Chrome driver that matches with my machine. So I'm running on a Windows and it's a 64 bit. So I'm going to take this uh, URL right here. And I am going to go in and open a new window. So I'm going to open a new window, paste that URL, press enter, it's going to prompt me to save this file somewhere. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just momentarily probably just going to save it maybe in my documents and I'm going to click save. Now, ideally, we want our Chrome driver to be in the same location as all the Chrome drivers uh, for our Selenium. So how can we figure out the location of the Chrome drivers that are already there? So while doing this, we need to have two libraries installed. First, we need to make sure we have the WD man library, which stands for web driver manager. And then second, we're going to need the R Selenium library. So we're going to run both commands. And now let's go ahead and discover where the location of that Chrome driver is. So to do that, we're going to create an object called Chrome command. And I'm going to set it equals to the Chrome function, which comes from the WD man library. And I'm going to set the ret command uh, parameter equals to true, we're going to set the verbose to false. And then we're also going to set the check to false. And let's go ahead and run this. And now if we go ahead and try to view the Chrome command, we're going to notice that it gives us the location 
of the web driver. So we're going to see that it's in the C drive, it's in the users, my username, app data, and then all the way until the actual Chrome driver. And this goes based off of the latest Chrome driver available. So if I were to navigate through this path, so I will need to go into my uh, C drive and make sure in the view you're um, enabling hidden items because the in the users and then my username, the app data folder is a hidden folder. So you're going to have to make sure you're enabling that. So if we go into local, binman, binman Chrome driver, Windows 32, we can see that we have all of the latest Chrome drivers. Of course, latest meaning 114, but we need 116. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and navigate to wherever we downloaded our 116 version. So I remember we saved it in the documents, so I will open it in a new tab. And then I will go ahead and try to find it, which is right here. So I'm going to cut this and I am going to go into Win32 and I'm going to paste it here. Now what I want to do is I want to extract this. So I will go and extract all and I'm just going to extract it here. So what this is going to do is it's going to create a new folder for us right here. So I'm going to take this and we have these two files. Now we're going to have to make sure that we delete the license file because this is what's going to throw off uh, the driver whenever it's trying to locate the driver. The license file tends to throw it off and we don't need it anyway so we can go ahead and delete it. But make sure this one is still there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut this fo file folder out and I'm going to just uh, paste it over here and we have it just right there and I'm going to rename this to the name of the uh, Chrome driver version. And just like that, I renamed it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the zip file because we don't need it. And now we can run our Arcelenium driver. So to check which versions we have at our disposal, we're going to use the bin man library. And the bin man library stands for binary manager. And we're going to use the list versions and we're going to refer to the Chrome driver. And this is another way just to show you that all of the Chrome drivers that we're referring to are listed here. So we can see our version 116 is there. And we're going to need that number because we're going to pass it into the RS driver function. So I'm going to create an object called RS driver object. And I'm going to set it equals to RS driver. In the browser name, I'm going to set it equals to Chrome. And then in the Chrome version, we're going to set it equals to the Chrome version we have, and I'm going to set the verbose equals to false, and I'm going to run this. And ta-da, it ran just fine. So there you have it. This is how you deal with the new versions of the Chrome driver available. I hope this video was informative. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.